it's called a fast boot. This allows the computer to uh, easily boot up, but uh, that causes some issues. So we're gonna go into um, control panels and uh, turn off that feature. So now the computer is booting up. We're just gonna wait for it to boot up and log in. You can see here, computers. Our focus. Okay, on your keyboard. Okay, on your computer keyboard, press on the window key. And here we want to type in the glass icon and we're going to key in power. And down here you can see there's a thing called power options. So click on that and then click on choose what the power button does and go all the way down you want to uh, turn off this turn on fast uh, startup so I'm going to choose uh, it's been changed settings that are currently unavailable so I'm going to click on that so this one becomes active so before it was grey out so I'll click on that button at the top it becomes active now you want to deselect or uncheck Turn on fast startup and we're going to click on save changes and we can click on the cross button here to close it and we're going to shut down the computer again so choose the shutdown button here and then we'll check the computer to see if that works so now we we'll go back to the computer waiting for it to shut down It's also causing the sleep function not to work properly. So if we put the computer to sleep, it will automatically um, wake the computer up straight away. So now it is shutting down and the computer is now sleeping. If after trying the first solution it doesn't work, you can try the second solutions. Now with the second solution is that you open up your computer and try to remove the BIOS battery. It is um, right inside your computer on the motherboard you can see right there there's a battery the white battery simply remove that round battery there that the silver battery right there simply just take it out of your motherboard wait for around 60 seconds or one minute or a couple of minutes then put it back in and uh, try to um, boot up the computer once you have done that, then uh, you can try to shut down the computer and see if that works.